back here with Jennifer Adams. Hi. And she is doing a takeover on our Costco Facebook page. So I hope you've been able to see the last three segments. This is our fourth segment, so I'm going to let Jennifer take it away. We're in my bathroom. <laughs> Welcome to every nook and cranny of my house. We completely gutted this space. It was really dark, heavy, dark wood floors and dark cabinetry and a lot of tile on the countertops. And it just wasn't what I was envisioning for the master bath. And when you do a remodel, there are two places that when you spend money, that you can typically get the money back. And that's a master bath and in the kitchen. So it's well worth remodeling, but you don't want to go too crazy. I wanted the bathroom to stay zen-like and like a spa. So I didn't use a lot of different materials I kept them pretty simple and you'll notice I did a marble on the floor but I didn't want it to look like a dated too traditional marble so I found really big pieces and offset the joint and when you're laying tiles right now a tighter joint uh, tighter tile <laughs> when the tiles are closer together <laughs> that looks a lot better and less of a ground line that's trending and then bringing it up to the countertop we brought marble up to the counter and in a more modern application so it didn't look too traditional we kept it tight with the cabinet so there's not a lot of an overhang and that's something when you're going through a remodeling process your edge detail on the counter does make a big difference to the overall look of the bathroom and for the cabinets ours were too far gone typically you can paint them or just resurface, we ended up having to thrash them because they weren't really functioning well. So we opted for really deep drawers and it worked really well because I can have tall bottles. I'm not gonna show you the inside of my messy drawer, but it, I can actually access these and function really well. And then kept the bottom open so it looks like it's a floating piece of furniture with a little bit of an accent light down there. And these mirrors are my favorite thing. <laughs> they show everything, so I'm guaranteed to know what's on my face before I leave. They're called electric mirrors. I'm going to show you this. You just turn right off and then it turns on. And then I didn't have to have any sconces or anything on the wall. I really like those. Oh, it's my favorite part, shower, and then we'll get to accessories. We brought that same tile that's on the floor. It didn't do a threshold. We just brought it straight on into the shower. And with the back wall, because this walks into my shower space, you could do like an accent wall here, but instead I decided to have these little cubbies and just keep it really um, functional and clean and put little puck lights up the top. And plants, you already realize I'm obsessed with plants. I use them as accessories all the time. And then I also just roll up towels because I have storage here and I don't have to have a lot of cluttered accessories or tiles. I'm gonna take you right back on over here. You'll see these unexpected objects, these elephants. They almost look like there are dogs. In fact, when we first put them in here, my little Oliver went underneath the elephant and started sniffing it <laughs> to check it out. The reason I brought these in here, these are from, my husband was on a business trip and they didn't cost that much and he just loved them so he brought them here. This was a lot of white right in the center of the bathroom and I wanted to bring in a natural wood because that raw wood and a natural color really does help break up some of the white tones. And so that, we use that as an object for an accent item, but you know, if you have the space, you can also just get like a live edge or a raw chunk of wood, and you can use it to put a glass of wine if you're taking a bath or a towel or anything. So that could be a bench as opposed to an elephant. Okay, towels. Someone on our last segment wrote in and asked what to do about bathroom towels and clever ways to display them. Well, if you're anything like me, I don't have the extra storage space in my drawers that I want to dedicate to towels, so I have to use the ones I'm actually using out on the countertop. So I love baskets. These are the towels I use to wash my face with, and here are the hand towels. That texture is a really fun element to bring into the bathroom, and I coordinate the towels with the robes because my robes, and I thought actually, this is what we're giving away at the end of the segment today, these exact robes. We've got them, um, I'll show you them in another color, but these are the robes that you've entered to win. But I keep my towel in my bathroom the same color as the robe because I don't really want them to be noticed. And then it just acts like an accent item and then store the towels right there on the shelf space. We also store hand towels. I'm going to show you right over here this um, another fun way that you could store hand towels. 
So right here, or washcloths actually, this is like a tray that you would typically put um, hand towels that you would throw away. And instead just folded the towels right here and it looks like an accent piece, but it's also functional. And then for the accessories, I don't like a lot of matchy matchy, but because I have other objects breaking it apart, I do have the same bathroom soap lotion dispenser as some of the other accents in here. And it works and it's fine. Okay, so now what about a small bathroom? I've got a small bathroom over here that we remodeled as well. And so I'm just gonna sneak you through the courtyard. space because it's kind of small in here. <laughs> Bathrooms can be tricky to film in when they're smaller. So this bathroom was small and so I wanted to keep it light and natural and organic but a little bit of a pop. It didn't need to be quite as zen-like as our bathroom but I still wanted it tranquil. So my colors I used were actually charcoal. So I used charcoal in the bath mat and then brought the charcoal up into this planter and then use charcoal as the rope. That might sound like it's overkill, but all of these things are functional, except for the bathroom plant. A little tip, because plants are so great in a bathroom, but if it's a dark bathroom that doesn't have any windows and it stays closed up, your plant won't last very long. But use a plant if you have good airflow. They tend, they're beautiful. I didn't want to mix, I mean, I didn't want to be too matchy on the accessories, but they had to tie together. And I had a bunch of odds and ends that I had around the house. So what we did is took a lotion dispenser that had some grays from the rug and also acts as a white, but you'll notice it contrasts from the other white. And so that's why it works. It doesn't look too like we brought in two different whites and mix a set, but didn't quite work. And then we took silver from the other accents and brought in an old waste basket and then just tied the look together. And for the materials, kept it very simple. The same stone that's on the floor is the exact same stone that's on the shower wall. And to keep it interesting, we just cut it to different shapes. So the floor is a herringbone pattern and the tile setter just did it right here. We didn't have to buy expensive border details or anything. And then we just used a rectangular shape with no expensive borders or any fancy detail. And it just, it works. All right, so are you ready for the bathrobe giveaway? Let's go find Jody. We're gonna spin right back outside again. And we're gonna be giving away several of the bathrooms. Right here. Oh, here she is. Yay, hey, she's all ready for us. <laughs> all right. So this is what we're giving away. Do we have a list right here? Yes, the How list is right here. here. Oh, perfect. Magically appeared <laughs> <laughs> by the hands of many helpers. And, and also this comes in, talk about the different colors that they can choose oh, from. Oh yeah. So you get to pick your color and you get to pick your size. And the robe is the same fabric as our eternal sheet sets with a really plush, soft liner. It's a year-round robe, and it, you just wash it just like normal, and it's so easy. It's so to, soft. Isn't it? Yeah, you'll have to put on, other than, I think it's, it's like 85 degrees here yeah. in San Diego today, <laughs> so I'm not going to force you to wear a robe. All right, we have five winners today. So John Pierce, yay! We have a guy. <laughs> yay! I think you're. Do you have men robes or we have unisex? we have unisex? Okay, yes. great. So we've got everything small, medium, large, and I think we actually have XL as well. Okay, great. So John Pierce, um, Vivian Schuler, Emily Ponlon. Oh, another gentleman, Steve Faringer. I'll say it again, Steve Faringer, F-A-H-R-I-N-G-E-R, congratulations. And for the final winner of our robe, Sue Fitzpatrick. Congratulations, and you guys, thank you so much for commenting and sending questions yes. and submitting for the giveaways. We've got two more segments coming up. Yes. At, I've lost track of what time it so is. So two o'clock and then and three, three o'clock. Is that right? Yep. And we've got the pillow giveaways coming up and the mattress. 
And at the very final segment, we're going to be answering a lot of your questions. So continue to send them in. How do we send in the questions? Yeah, just um, comment on our uh, Facebook Lives, and then we'll be looking at those questions, and then we'll be answering the following questions at the very last segment. Great. So make it personal, make it be what you want it to be, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.